Hi guys, I'm Star. Today it's lesson two. I'm gonna teach you treble clef and the stack. Right, Pom Pom? Say hello, say hello. Lesson two, treble clef and the stack. So music notes are named after the first seven letters of the alphabet, from A to G. By the positions on the staffs, they can represent the entire range of a music sound. Clef signs help organize the staff so notes can easily be read. The treble clef is used for notes in the higher pitch ranges. The treble or G clef has involves from a stylized letter G. This one. It looks like a G. And in the present, it turns into this, the treble clef. So you can call it a G clef or the treble clef. The curl of the treble clef circles the line which the note G is placed. This G above the middle C, the C nearest the middle of the keyboard. So this is the middle C. It's something called the middle C. Only the middle is C is called the middle C. So if, the, yeah, of course, there is a lot of C's in a piano. It's like the middle C and another lower middle C. It's, so you can only count the C that's inside the middle of the piano. Don't count the one that's lower or higher of it. In the treble staff, the names of the notes on the lines from bottom to top are E, G, B, D, F. And how do you remember it? And these are line notes. Okay. You remember it as every good boy does fine. Say it with me. Every good boy does fine. And for the space notes, the names of the notes in the spaces from bottom to top spell face. See? F-A-C-E. Face. Now I'm going to teach you all the, all the notes in the triple clef. C, B, E, F, G, A, B, C. And you can see on the screen, which my dad did it. You can see this E, F, G, A, B, C, but there's a C, D, 2 at the beginning. C, D. And you, can, you only need to remember C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, because it just goes all over again. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Thank you for watching lesson two. Next time, I'm going to teach you bass clef and the staff. Bass clef, not treble clef anymore. Bye! Say bye bye, pom pom!